This episode is all about growing cucumbers in a cool climate. Cucumbers are a great salad vegetable and they love hot weather. If you're interested in landscaping with fruit and vegetables, cucumbers make an attractive addition to a small veggie garden. Cucumbers can be grown in quite a small space because they can be trellised if you've got some spare wall for them to climb on. A trellis is ideal for cucumbers. It just gets them off the ground and stops other creatures getting into them. I'm using the hedge at the back as a trellis or you can let them trail over a raised bed. If you're growing your own vegetables in a small garden, sometimes succession planting, what comes next in the season, can be a bit of a challenge, especially in a cool climate region where the weather window for frost sensitive plants is actually quite small and the time between harvesting and replanting the next crop becomes a bit of a juggle. There are days when you have seedlings bursting out of their containers ready to be planted, but the previous tenants are not ready to be harvested. Cucumbers, however, are a great follow-on crop if you have a late harvest. These cucumbers were planted after I harvested the garlic in mid-spring, which is good crop rotation principles if you like that sort of thing. In a cool climate region, one of the biggest reasons why a cucumber crop will fail is because it's planted out too early in the season. Even if you plant it out after the last frost, the ambient air temperature and soil temperature temperature can be too cold and the plant doesn't flourish and often doesn't survive. And I guess that makes cucumbers a good follow on crop because it can be planted quite a bit later if you're still waiting for the previous plant to be harvested. If you've got a bit of time, it's nice to grow cucumbers via seed. But if you're a bit time poor, uh, you know, there's nothing like visiting a nursery and doing a lovely serendipitous purchase. One of the advantages of growing your vegetables via seed is that you can often have a wide a variety of choice than you get in the nursery. This is a combination of compost and leaf mold, a nice rich soil that's very suitable for cucumbers. Cucumbers like a sheltered sunny position and a lot of water. Cucumbers need to be watered every day. Be careful when watering that you keep the leaves dry because it can make them susceptible to powdery mildew. If you're harvesting cucumbers and find that your cucumbers have a little skinny bit on the end, that's often due to irregular watering or lack of water. People describe cucumbers as the fair weather plant and this season is definitely the fair weather for cucumbers by origin. I didn't do anything special with the soil. It's just what was left over from the garlic when it was harvested and then a fair bit of compost added. The leftover soil from the garlic harvest was mixed with almost two bins of compost, enough to raise the soil in the bed back up to the top. Some sugarcane mulch was used to keep the weeds down and the moisture in. Cucumbers love rich, moist soil. And as I mentioned earlier, I use seedlings that I purchased from the nursery. Don't worry if you get a whole lot of male flowers to start with. These will usually be followed by female flowers. For the harvest, don't let the cucumbers get too mature before harvest, or they will stop making more cucumbers. Pick early and often and about this size. Yeah, so this is the memory for me. These cucumbers always remind me of visiting you and Dad in summer when you had a lot of cucumbers, a lot of cucumbers. cucumbers yes. Dad used to cut them up, soak them in malt vinegar with a bit of salt and pepper and we'd sit around with a cup of tea and it was like instead of biscuits, so we'd have these cucumber slices. And so what we're having here is cucumber, malt vinegar and salt and pepper slices and mint, mint tea from the garden. So that's for you. Mm. Very nice. So you were telling me about how you used to have a little box of seeds that were your dad's. Metal, little metal box. And the only seeds my dad kept were the ones of oh, these. They were like apple cucumbers, but they were elongated and they had white skin and they were just cucumber inside, you know. Can't be called it, except taste now. Yeah, and you, you peeled them? Were they a tough skin or a...? Yeah, I used to make, I used to make 
um, salads. I think from that generation, little tins of seeds were he was uncommon. Quite old -fashioned, you know. He would have saved them from last year's crop. Yeah, we had a table in the in the garage at the back of the garage, and he spread these tomatoes all over the table like that, and then they dried out. And when they were thoroughly dry, he put them in little tin like I'm suggesting the cucumber was done. To. He had a little workbench where he dried his seeds. Yeah. Seed, yeah. seed saving is a lovely thing to do, actually. And so he isn't it? the olden days where you could readily buy everything. And those flowers are from your little veggie patch. Yes. Yeah, out the outside too. You'll need 600 grams of cucumbers peeled and sliced. Tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, three garlic cloves, some salt flakes, three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two teaspoons of white sugar or some form of equivalent replacement. Two tablespoons of oil, two teaspoons of sesame oil. Mix into the dressing a red onion, 15 grams of ginger, add cucumber, coriander, mix it all in together and serve. So here we are, Yotam inspired cucumbers. There's some mushroom stir fry. I was going to stir fry some cucumber leaves, but I couldn't spare any of them. They all had little cucumbers on them. So the cucumber leaves have a bit of flavor, which can add another dimension to cooking. And that might be for another day. Well, with these hot sunny days and a storm, which seems to happen almost every evening at the moment, this is truly cucumber growing weather and we'll probably remember this year as the bumper cucumber season. While it is a bit unusual for a cool climate region such as this. In any case, I'm enjoying the cucumbers. Thank you for watching all the way through to the end. Thank you for the subscriptions and comments and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!